Hi crafty friends, it's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Welcome to our craft studio. Come on in on this Thursday evening and get comfortable. Get yourself a beverage and a snack and get comfortable and come watch. So also behind the camera, behind the computers, my husband Bill, you'll hear his voice every now and again. And uh, we have a great craft for you tonight to show you. And I am wearing my Watts of Love t-shirt. I am very, very sparkly. I hope you can see that. Because this month we are raising money for this organization called Watts of Love. So I'm going, I'll be telling you a little bit more about it as we craft. Our keyword tonight is Watts of Love. So just look at me if you want to know what to type in. And if you type in Watts of Love in the comments, you'll get entered into our weekly drawing. We hold it every Sunday night. And so there you go. Let me get this updated. And then we will get started. Okay, there we go. Does there have to be spaces on that? Um, actually, I think you can either type Watts or Love and it'll take either one. Okay, so I'm going to activate that, publish that. Okay, Roberta, try again. I just, I just activated it, so try it again. Okay, do, 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 do. Get this turned off. Okay, and we should be good to go. Hello, Denise. Hello, Roberta. I don't know if you heard me, Roberta. Try Watts of Love again, and it should work. Crossing my fingers. Hi, Cindy. Awesome, awesome. Lots of people hopping on. So hop on, say hello, let me know you're here. And, um, okay, so Roberta got her message. Cindy got her message. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, um, let's get moving. We're, I'm going to show you a new technique. Well, it's new to me. I watched, it's not, it's not an original to me. I watched somebody else do it and it looked amazing. And so I'm going to give it a try. I just practiced it real briefly and it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's using not warts, not warts of love. <laughs> He's such a goof. Now I, now I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, anyway, you'll, you'll like this new technique. Okay. Uh, we are going to be using one of our Watts of Love transfers. This is one. And it says, what does it say? Every dream begins with a simple wish. And it's got that beautiful little dandelion and the little, the little pieces floating along. Cute, cute, cute. And the reason it's a Watts of Love transfer is because if you purchase this or any of our current Watts of Love transfer, $2 of your purchase will be donated directly to this charity, Watts of Love. So that's called, that's why we call it a Watts of Love transfer. So every, every dream begins with a simple wish. So we're going to use that. The surface we're going to put it on is watercolor paper. Yay for watercolor paper. This is what I used. I have a smaller pad of it somewhere. Anyway, I cut this in half. So this is just watercolor paper that I got at, I think I got this at Michael's. I might have gotten it at Walmart. Um, it is 140 pounds, so it's pretty thick paper, but it's got a, a surface that takes um, watercolor paints really well. So that's what I did. I just used a sheet of this. I cut it down. I looked at the frame I wanted to use. And let me get it out here. So this was something I got at a thrift store. See, it's all kind of wonky on the back. But anyway, I thought I would like to put it in this frame. So I measured how big it needs to be. And this is an eight by 10. So I'm going to chalk on this in an eight by 10 space. Make sense? Okay, so let me, 
Let me get started. I'm going to tape this down because I, I kind of want it to stay in one place. So I'm going to, and then Bill will probably like it because I'm going to put it down here low so you can see it without, without the words. Okay, so this needs Nurse to Rhonda, be... hello, Rhonda. And she called hi. you Tobin. Hi, hi, hi Tonda. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to tape this off and I'm just going to leave open an 8 by 10 opening. I could probably do this on my uh, on my ink mat too, but I'm not going to. Okay, so let's give it this eight by ten. So how is everybody? I think, I think our friend Alana should be on. I think she didn't have to work today. Apparently she's going to be taking a break. Taking some time off. Home. Just goofing off. Okay, All let me double check. Time. Okay, 10 inches by 8 inches. Perfect. So I've got my watercolor paper, just plain white watercolor paper, and I have it taped down opening as eight by 10 because that will fit my frame. And I'm not going to wax this because the watercolor will be repelled by the wax. So I'm not going to use, I'm not gonna use my surface wax before I do my watercolor. So I'm gonna start with this transfer. And let me show you what I'm going to do. This will be a little bit different. I am going to fuzz it a lot, though, because I don't want, because this is paper and this is a sticky back, I don't want it to, you know what happens when you put a sticker on paper and you try to pull the sticker off, you pull off some of the paper. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to fuzz this quite a bit. And I'm actually, this first part, I'm only going to use part of this. I'm going to use a dandelion. I'm going to just use the dandelion. And I may pick it up and put it down again somewhere else, too. Um, it is one of last year's transfers, Rhonda, but it is still available. You still can purchase it. It is not, it is not retired yet. But yes, it's what it's last year's one of last year's lots of love transfers. Okay, lots of fuzz on here. Okay, and this is slightly smaller, so I'm going to place this right about there. And push this down and like I said I'm just going to do the dandelions I'm not going to do the words yet but let me show you how I'm going to do it I'm not going to use paste this is what I'm going to use I'm going to use Mod Podge which is basically just a glue so we are we're just going to chalk this with Mod Podge and it will basically give me the design but it won't it won't put any color on it and then when I when I watercolor over it it will come out white. It's awesome. You'll love it. You'll love it. Trust me. So this is matte Mod Podge. You could use, you could use, um, what am I trying to think? Glossy. You could use glossy. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Make sure that's dry. I'm just going to apply this just like I would paste, only it is Mod Podge. Now I'm going to make sure I clean this up right away because I don't want this glue. I don't want, I don't want the glue to get out of there. Get out of there. I don't want the glue to dry in my transfer, in my, in my screen. So I'm just putting a layer of Mod Podge over the design. And 
it's hard, hard to see because it kind of goes on clear, but I'm just making sure I've got all those areas. And I actually think I'm going to lift the transfer and I think I'm going to put another dandelion down here in this corner. I'm just going to lift that up and I'm going to lay this back down like right there. And I'm not, I'm not even going to push it down. I'm just going to go ahead and chalk that chalk that. I'm going to Mod Podge it. Okay. Scrape off that extra. Peel this off. Now you can't see it. You can't see it, but I have this design in Mod Podge on my, on my watercolor paper. And I said, I want to clean this up right away because that is glue. And if that dries in my transfer, I will have ruined my transfer. So as long as I get it cleaned out right away, so I'm gonna start with water and I'm going to switch over to a Swedish dishcloth or some paper towels. And I'm just gonna use this to get the bulk of that up. And again, I want it out of that screen, especially because it's glue. I'll never get it out if it dries. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to a board eraser. I'm gonna use a little more water because I wanna make sure that is out of that screen. I'm gonna switch over to a board eraser. And I'm gonna clean that screen front and back. Because when I push it through, sometimes I'm pushing through the paste or the Mod Podge and it gets onto the back. So these transfers do work with products other than our chalk paste. I've used them with etching cream. I've used them now with Mod Podge. I've used them, what else have I used with them? Uh, burn paste. Okay, so I've got that cleaned out. I'm going to put away my excess Mod Podge. Waste not, want not. Okay. What did she say? I love those Swedish dishcloths. Dish they make really well. Yes. Well, they're meant to be. But, but she got an Autobot reply. She said love. Oh. Lots of lots of love. Okay. That's what it was. Okay, so that is clean. And I'm going to, because I'm, I'm going to use it again in a minute or two, I'm going to kind of dry it off with a paper towel. So again, you can use our transfers with other things besides our paste. Probably, it probably voids your warranty if they knew. So be careful. But the key is just clean it out with water right away. And I have not had any problems with them. So I'm going to set this aside because I'm not going to use it for a minute or two. Now I have that design in Mod Podge on this watercolor paper. So now I need to dry it really, really well. I'm gonna get out my dryer. Okay, while I do, I'm gonna tell you about Watts of Love. Watts of Love is an organization that Chalk Couture has partnered with and their main goal, their mission is to provide solar lights to people in third world countries. Um, the reason why is because these countries are very, very poor and they can't afford, well, they don't have electricity, and if they did, they probably couldn't afford it. So the only way for them to get light at night is a fire, which you, that can be very dangerous. Hey, Patty. You have a good economy with words. I can use one sentence. Okay, and Bill has put up, Bill has put up the Watts of Love, some Watts of Love information. If you want to go look them up. Afterward, um, afterwards. Afterwards, yeah, because it'll take you off the site if you go look at that. Um, where was I? Oh, anyway, um, the only way they can get light after dark is a fire or like a kerosene lamp. Well, they don't give kerosene away. It costs money. 
And kerosene can be very dangerous. Um, it can start, of course it can start fires, but it can be very dangerous. So it's just not an ideal situation. Kids can't do any, any reading or schoolwork if they are lucky enough to go to school. They can't do that after dark. So they give away these solar lights. So, and I actually have one. I became what's called a light maker because I made a, um, a donation to the organization and they gave me some swag that I can show. So I'm going to show you one of the actual lights that they give. It comes in this little box like this and it comes with, it comes with head, a headband so they can use their hands free. And anyway, it just, during the day, it, you put it out in the sunshine and it stores up. It's just like a solar light. And then, let me see if I can get it to go on. Did you charge it up? I probably, it probably hasn't been charged. It's been in the box. So, down there. so let me, charge. let me see if I can get a, a quick charge on it. But anyway, these things last for years and years and years. Okay, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it charge a little bit. Anyway, that's that's the the actual light that they give away to these families, and then they also it's really cute. They, I mean, we're talking. These are poor. This is a poor part of the world. They, the the people were saving the boxes that it came in. So they decided, well, let's put a little slot in it, and they can save their coins. So if they happen to have chickens and they sell eggs and they earn a couple of coins, they can they use this as a bank, and it is totally exciting for them. So it's it's awesome. Anyway. Hey, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go get a soda. Do you want? No, I've got water. Something? Thanks. Okay. Yes, kerosene is expensive and dangerous. And and if you can imagine, it's probably the children whose chore it is to light the fire. And so it, it can be very dangerous. Anyway, I have really dried this well. So I have dried Mod Podge on my on my doodad here. I, I don't I don't think it I don't think you can see it if I lift it up, but I'm going to. see that yeah you can kind of see it so it kind of makes it embossed but because it's dried it has kind of hardened so we'll kind of get ready okay so I'm gonna do watercolor over the whole background so I'm gonna use some blues it just felt like a little blue mood so I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use our paste I don't even have to use real watercolors. So I'm going to use our paste. I'm going to use our cadet for down towards the bottom. I'm going to use colonial blue, which is a medium blue in the middle, and ocean mist, which is a light blue, up at the top. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to just take a little bit, and I don't, I don't need very much at all. Need a little tiny bit of paste. And close that up, and then I'm going to get my medium. And again, just a little dab, just a little dab of paste. And then my ocean mist. Kind of an ombre. Kind of an ombre. Well, I guess technically it is an ombre. So what did they miss? Okay. Oh, you missed lots of stuff. Okay, so a little bit of ocean mist. Okay. And you can do any color you want. I'm doing shades of blue. You could do three separate colors. You could whatever. And I'm going to take just some of my distilled water. And I'm just going to... Spray that a bit to water it down to kind of a watercolor consistency. And I'm not even using a fancy watercolor brush. I'm just using my, I'm not gonna use that one. That was, that was kind of old and beat up. I'm just using my regular three brushes and then I'm actually going to change out to, to a chip brush just cause I have, 
I have wide, whoops. Well, that's okay. I got a little bit of blue paste on there, but that's okay because that's going to be dark anyway. So just with the brush, I'm just kind of mixing up that water so it's a really runny consistency. Set that aside. Did I ever mention to you that when you have things at this end, they, they can't see it underneath the words? At this end? The other end. The, where you're mixing the tray. They can't oh. even see your tray. Okay. Here's my tray. So I'm just I'm just mixing it up. Trust me. Trust me. There it is. There's the tray. So it's it's just kind of watery color. Okay, now I'm also going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to spray my paper lightly. This is actually a misting bottle, which works out really good because I don't want it soaking wet, but I just have that misted with water so that my color is going to kind of flow a lot easier. So I'm gonna start with my darkest shade and I'm going to, let me come in here at the bottom and then I'm going to switch over to my medium. Again, not. Tammy, I just posted it. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of mix those together a little bit so that it doesn't go straight from one color in a straight line. And you can kind of see how, hopefully you can see how the, the Mod Podge is kind of created a resist. And then my light, my ocean mist here at the top. And I'm just kind of blending them together so I don't have a harsh line. Yeah, pretty cool. And you know what? That's kind of that's kind of a deep blue, but that's okay. Maybe I should have done green. It could have looked like grass. Anyway, I kind of thought floating around the sky. Okay, now I'm going to do one other thing. This is still kind of damp. I have some it's not rock salt, it's coarse salt. And I'm just gonna take a few little grains of that and drop it on that wet watercolor. It kind of adds a little bit of texture because what it does is the salt absorbs the color and kind of concentrates it right where that grain is. So I'm just doing that just to give it a little bit of a little bit of I don't know texture okay now we're gonna let this dry okay did I was there anything else I needed to say about lots of love yes there is um, the month of May chalk is really focusing on uh, supporting lots of love so uh, they are offering for anyone who makes a $5 donation on the website, we'll get a free A-size transfer. So that's awesome. You're, it's a <coughs> tax deductible donation. So just, they have a little, a little thing you can include it in your, with your order and you'll get a free transfer out of it for supporting Lots of Love. Also, any stars that we get this month are going to be given to Watts of Love. So if you want to give in that method, that's great too. Yes, I'm being salty and sparkly. Okay, now I want this really dry before I brush off those salt chunks. Otherwise it will kind of smear. And I don't really want that. It is an interesting technique. Who would have thought? There's some other techniques too. I, when I was a teacher, I took a class in watercolor techniques and I have to, I'll have to get out my notes and, and see some of the other things that we did 
to make to make watercolor interesting. Okay, so I can't wait to show this to you. I know you probably can't see it too well. I don't know if you can see the you can see the dandelions. Well, you, maybe you kind of can, but you can kind of see them popping through because the the watercolor resists that dried Mod Podge and leaves it white. I don't know if you remember doing that in school where you'd take a white crayon and color it on a white piece of paper and then you'd paint over it and it would it would show whatever you had used in your crayon. Okay, let me see. Let me get, I'm gonna get one of my chippy brushes and I'm gonna see if I can get that off without smearing it. Now I want all of that salt off yeah, before I go to chalk because that will make it just a huge mess. So I'm just rubbing all those little salt chunks off because they're not glued on, they're just kind of stuck in the, in the water. And then I'm gonna show this to you. And you're gonna go, ooh, so exciting. Okay. Now it's kind of curling up because I got the paper completely wet. So I could take an iron and iron it, or I could uh, put it between a couple of really heavy books if I wanted to flatten it, or I could put it behind glass. So here, can you see? I've got my Got my dandelion up there. This one shows a little bit more up against the dark. And then you can see the ones that are kind of floating. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then you can see those little dots that were made by the salt. Just kind of random. Just gives it a little bit of interest, I think. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Okay, I'm gonna clean off this salt. I'm going to have to sweep later. Hey, Patty, did you type in lots of love yet? Let's enter in. Forgot about the white crayon trick. Yep, back to, back to elementary school. Okay. Um, anyway, lots of love. I think I explained that. So all month, well, all year, we're, we're raising money for lots of love. Anytime you order, you can always, uh, they make it easy. You can round up your order to the nearest dollar and that those coins get donated to Watts of Love. They also have um, little SKU codes where you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty-five dollars directly to them. And, and totally a totally selfish move if i earn if i get two thousand dollars in donations before december i'll be entered into a drawing to take a trip to malawi which is one of the main countries that they have partnered with and i get to go with chalk with chocolate tour group to with Watts of love to malawi to actually See them handing this out to the people there. So, but I have to get to two thousand dollars, and then I'm in a drawing. So, so I'd appreciate it if you donate. Okay, now I'm going to just place the words where I want them, and it can actually be on top of some of those. Can be on top of those dandelions, next to them. I'm trying to just get it centered. I think that's good. And this time I'm just going to do the words. I'm not going to go back over. And you want to make sure you don't have any salt left on your surface. And I'm just going to do this with black paste. So black velvet paste, just the words. Lana, I think you already got commented on yours, sweetie. Um, you typed in it earlier, I think, so it's only going to answer once on you. Yeah, it will only give you the link once. So if you are, if you have typed in Watts of Love, 
you get a little notice saying that you are entered in Sunday's weekly drawing. And then there are some other buttons if you are interested in any other information. So you can get a link to the supplies that I have used on tonight's project if you're interested in that. We are also having um, color craze during the month of May where you buy three jars. You die if you drop if you buy three jars of any paste or any ink, you get a fourth jar for free. So that is awesome. Okay, let me peel this up. And I, pr I could have probably waxed that. So we're going to we're going to kind of take it slow. I think I should have waxed that. I get to yammering. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go over it again later because it kind of it kind of pulled up some it pulled up some of the, my letters. So I'll go over it again, but you can still see the dandelions. Every dream begins with a simple wish. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that out. Let me dry this. What I'm gonna do afterwards, and oh, we've got enough time. I think I'll actually do it, I'll show you how I fix a goof. So I didn't wax it, so it kind of pulled up the paste. So I'm just gonna dry it really, really well. And clean my transfer and then lay it right back down over the top and chalk it again. Okay, so let's set that aside. Let's clean this up real good. So just a fun way that you can use our transfers. They don't all have to be paste. Stick that down there. Get a Swedish dishcloth. Clean up that paste. Okay, so that cleans up the bulk of it. Now I'm switching over to my board eraser. And cleaning that out, that needs to be rinsed. Hey, Jesse. Thank you, those of you that are loving it. Hopefully I'm giving you some ideas that you can do, especially for background, so you're not just putting something on a white, on a white surface. Not that there's anything wrong with just putting things on a white surface. Sometimes you want a little bit of color. Okay, I've got that clean. I'm going to dry it now. Like I said earlier, this is not one of our newer transfers. So this one isn't as transparent. Our newer ones you can see through and, and lining it up will be a breeze. I did not make my shirt. I earned it through donating to Watts of Love at our convention last year. Nope, I did not make it, but I'm wearing it because we're talking about Watts of Love and that's our keyword tonight. So hopefully some of you will feel led to make a small donation. It will be very appreciated. Okay, and I'm going to fuzz this some more. I actually think I'm gonna wax that also. Let me see if this is working now. I think it's not working because it's too bright in here. I think it's too bright. It thinks it's daytime. So it's not working. You push, you push on it and hold it. Okay, so I'm fuzzing my transfer again.
another thing I want to tell you about Watts of Love. They don't just, I mean, some of you might be thinking, oh, big deal, you're giving them a flashlight. Something that happens in, in some of these high poverty countries is they can't afford their children. And oftentimes, just to make ends meet, just because they can't feed all the mouths, yes, each one of the lights costs $50. So if they get $50 in donations, that supplies one, one light to a family. Um, so what they'll do is they will actually sell their young daughters to men in the community to become wives. So they're, they're like child brides. And they do that just because they can't afford to feed. They can't afford to feed another mouse. Did you get it to work? There, yeah, he got it to work. Oh, it went off. It's too, it's too bright in here. Okay, I'm gonna wax this. That is, that is dry. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of wax. I didn't know this, but this actually has USB chargers too. Yeah, that doesn't help them very much, but no, they I've got it. Okay, so I'm just putting a little light coat of wax on this, just so I don't pick up any of that paint. And I'm gonna lay this back down right where I had it before. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing. There we go. There, I think I've got that lined up. Yes. Are they still picking villages? Um, I'm not sure how they make those decisions, um, but I know that, that they, they don't, they, they do change up the villages they go to. And honestly, I don't know how they make their choices, but I'm sure they've got it researched and Okay, so same thing again, black paste. Trying to make sure this goes through. So if you have any other questions about Watts of Love, Type them in, and if I don't know the answer, I'll find out, and I'll get back to you. Hi, Joanne. Got internet. Yay. Okay. Now my fingers. Let's see if this worked. Oh, much better. Much better. Okay. So last time I didn't wax it, and it was it was having a hard time. So here we go. Every dream begins with a simple wish, and you know how you blow dandelions and you get to make a wish? Pretty, pretty, pretty. So this is our Watts of Love watercolor because we use the Watts of Love transfer. Now let me dry this up and then I'll put it in the frame so you can see what it looks like there. I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint the frame or not. I'll decide that when I see what it looks like inside there. So how many of you are going to try something like this? You can use, you can use our paste as the watercolor. You can use actual watercolors. I think you could even use chalk paint. Also, but the, the key is to get it thinned down so that it is watery. And honestly, spray the paper so it is damp also. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm just going to cut this apart because remember I measured this so that it would fit my 8x10 frame. So I'm just going to cut right where the tape is. 
And if it's a little too uh, wavy, you can, you can iron it. You can press it in between a couple of big books or on the floor and put something heavy on top of it. Sit on it. Sit on it. No, then you'll have, then it will be wavy in all kinds of different ways that, but put it, put a flat surface top and bottom and apply, apply a little pressure and that should keep it from being wavy. Now I could put, you can put um, watercolors behind glass. So I could just put this behind glass, but I don't have any glass on this one. Again, this is my thrift store. I probably paid a dollar for it. And I'm going to stick that in there. And I have some cardboard to kind of shove in there. I've got paint on my nail. Okay, so that kind of holds it flat. So there's, there it is. So I might paint this white. I don't know. I don't think I'll paint it blue. Maybe I'll paint it black. I don't know. Anyway, every dream begins with a simple wish with some daffodils and a pretty watercolor background. So I hope you liked this. I hope you got a new idea of how you can use these things. Internet is sporadic. Okay. Okay. So again, if you, even if you are watching the replay, if if you're looking and there's a red box up here that says live, you're watching us in real time. If it's not there, you're watching the replay. Either way is fine. Comment hashtag replay so we know when you watched it. You can also, watching the replay, you can also comment the keyword, which is Watts of Love. And that will get you entered into our weekly drawing. You'll get a notice, you get a message to your messenger, and you'll also have some choices, some buttons that you you are, you may push, you're not required to, but you can get some more information. You can get information about the products that I use tonight, the, the color craze paste sale that's going on. We've also got a Father's Day sale that's going on. We've got a couple of things that are dropping tomorrow that I'll be putting out in, on my, on my Facebook group and my, in my, on my business page on my Facebook so you can see what's dropping tomorrow. Um, if you're interested in joining my free VIP group on Facebook, you can sign up there. If you're interested in other information about club or how you can also become a designer and earn 40% off of all your materials, there's information there. And if you would like to get notifications right before we go live so you don't miss any of our fun projects, uh, you can click on get notifications and get signed up for that. So thanks so much for hanging out with us. Joanne says white. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to pose even though I can't use it yet. Hey, okay. hope you enjoyed this. And we should be on again tomorrow evening, 630. And I think that's it. Have a great rest of your week and into your weekend, and we will see you soon. Do something creative every day. Bye-bye.